All right, people, welcome back. More quote unquote Dead Pro door commentary, even though this is not Dead Pro. Dead Pro is still down. They don't know when it's going to go back up. This is unlike Geo Pro. Uh, it's just me again. I know both of the quote unquote Dead Pro door commentaries this week have just been me by myself. I apologize. Uh, the tag partner that we have today for Daily Duels doesn't speak. Uh, so it's just me. It's just me, which is fine, you know. Uh, and while Dead Pro, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it, but. I mean, the series doesn't last for much longer, to tell you the truth. Uh, I always talk about, you know, Daily Duels is ending, Daily Duels is ending, Daily Duels is ending, but da when Daily Duels ends, this series ends too, because we're changing the channel around, and when we change the channel around, we're not keeping this series. I'm not a big fan of this series, you know? Like, if anything, if Stu is still doing his series, I can join him on that, but it's probably not going to be... Uh, you know, on my lineup. I, I have no plans of keeping this series. It's just, I don't know. We'll have plenty of commentary over other people doing when League starts. And if you're thinking that League is just rip season two, no, it's not. You know, uh, we're, we're still holding off. Uh, we're probably, and, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, we're probably going to hold off until 2017. Uh, wow, you know, you can catch that magic drain. But doesn't he, doesn't he want the card in the graveyard anyway, technically? Like, he's going to choose yes. Is he going to send another uh, toy vendor? No, he's going to send a poly and then keep his toy vendor. All right. All right. Then pitch the owl. Pitch a foolish. <laughs> you got wings? Oh, I didn't say he can grab another poly, but the King of Thumbs can also serve his purpose as a being that, uh, that, uh, Agent Scissors, I think. Copy the name of that for your, like, fusion place. But, uh, League will probably be in 2017, like you said. Uh, I'll probably end up taking time off in November because I haven't taken a break off the channel since, you know, last year, you know. Uh, so I'll probably take a break off in November and then December, you know, Christmas, people are really busy and stuff like that. Uh, sorry, that no Papa, that was coach for uh, Dragon Ball Z League. Uh, you know, Christmas, Donzi's busy, Christmas, and everybody will be busy. So we'll probably hop into it in 2017. Uh, there's a couple of changes that we've been discussing, been working on. One of the things that definitely we're going to have to do... Um, Probably, probably, definitely have to do is uh, switch over to YGL Pro. Like, YGL Pro seems like it's going strong. Like I said, DM's down right when we wanted to get started. And I, I, I kind of flopped in Season 2, you know. I definitely one of the things I'm going to do in between my break for November and, you know, December being, uh, you know, we're not starting yet. Definitely does time the two months is network. I need network better because I did a terrible job networking Season 2. I only got one person to guest upload, and that was Maggie Tablet G. That was it, you know. So... You know, I need to get Simo, Nim Nim, everybody, every YouTuber. If we can get it to uh, to be viral like last season, then, you know, let's go. That'd be great. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. But, um, yeah, I need to network better. And uh, possibly some changes. Uh, one of the things that I'm thinking about changing, well, probably probably will change is the, is the Klee deck. Wow. Wow. You're going to go Norton. He's just going to not break the scale. Nope, nope, nope. The thing is that he still has a level 4 monster, so he can always just normal summon another level 4 and then go into his rank 4 play he wanted to do anyway. If he has it. Dive vendor, pitch, draw, hopefully, in a dog. Like, cross your fingers if you get another dog. Dog would be fantastic to draw right now. It'd be your rank 4 plays and then get that summon and get that search. Like, uh, one of the things we're probably going to change is uh, Cleese. Cleese will probably get changed. Uh, for the league, we had it one scout, three sacrifice. Probably gonna change just how the OCG is and just give him three scout, one sacrifice and see how that goes. So that'll probably be changed. Uh, another big change that we're thinking about doing is uh, back when we won, when we started, like, when we were thinking about starting season two of league, we said TCG only. And the decks that were chosen specifically for tier one, TCG only, there was no blue eyes because blue eyes wasn't out in the TCG. But now it is. And we kind of think that blue eyes should be in the, you know, the competition. Because right now, of course, there is no blue eyes in what, what's the lineup for season two. Because uh, blue eyes wasn't out. We said no, no OCG, TCG only. And uh, blue eyes wasn't out in the CCG yet. But, I mean, come on, it's freaking blue eyes. So one of the things to think about is adding blue eyes to the tier one roster. But we'd have to add it into the 2016 side. Because remember, it's 2015 versus 2016. So what we were thinking about doing is... Taking out PK Fire. I mean, because we already have Burning Abyss, and they're kind of like the same, you know, kind of. So, you know, it's having PK Fire and Burning Abyss represent, I mean, burning it's Burning Abyss based, and it's been here for years. Come on. It, that deck's been meta for over two years plus. So, I definitely think that Burning Abyss is more representative of Duelist Alliance than PK Fire for 2016 yet. So, what we're thinking about doing, discussing, we probably work this out, is that Burning Abyss will stay. Okay. I mean, you kind of did your thing, didn't 
do anything. You didn't even resolve uh, your vendor, so I don't even know. So I guess we'll get another duel. Wow, so Sylvan's just crushed Fluffles. I, I, I'm not sure if I would have believed that, but he did have the answer, so we'll get another, uh, we'll be right back with uh, hopefully games two and or three. Never mind, never mind. The, the football player just surrendered, period. You know, we went to game two and he just like surrendered. Like, oh, okay. You know, it's a problem with these uh, these commentaries on Wario when it's not rated. You know, you just quit and, you know, nothing's taken out of you, nothing happens, nothing bad happens. But if you duel and rated and you quit or, you know, you surrender, then you're just out, you know, you lose some points. So, uh, and speaking of blue eyes, so I was thinking about taking out PK5. Uh, what we had is that. There was a couple of restrictions on Burning Abyss. Um, I'm thinking about just lifting up all those restrictions, you know? If, if whatever Burning Abyss is. So you, you well, I think I think it was like you had three Sur and three Graph. I'm thinking about just doing what OCG had previous to their hit, you know? Because uh, having some OCG representative decks of strength, uh, you know? Pretty much just lifting, pretty much think about just lifting all their strength. You can have your Beatrices, you can have your Sur, your Graph, your Skarm, your Rhino, you know, whatever. You, you got you got Burning Abyss, you go Burning Abyss because there's no PK Fire, you know? That's going to be your one restriction. If you choose Burning Abyss in the League, you're not allowed to do any Phantom Knight plays, right? Uh, and then PK Fire would be off, and then we put in Blue Eyes. So from 2015, it'd be uh, Shadal's, Cleese, Necros, I almost forgot Necros, and. Burning Abyss, and then from 15, it would be Cosmos, Monarchs, Draco Pals, and Blue Eyes, you know? So that's how it would go. I'm thinking about doing that. That's one of the things that I'm thinking about doing for uh, Season uh, 2 when we get it started. Uh, which would probably mean that we some people would have to give up their deck, trade around their decks and stuff like that. Um, everybody with, is gonna we're gonna have to do it on Wadjo Pro, so everybody who doesn't who doesn't have Wadjo Pro needs to get Wadjo Pro in the league. And if they can't get Wadjo Pro, there's no exceptions. You know, we'll probably have to remove you and replace you. And if too many people can't get Wadjo Pro and too many people get replaced, we're probably gonna have to just reselect every deck. You know, we're gonna have to do a mulligan. Everybody reselect their deck, remake their decks. You know, because. Uh, it really depends on how flexible some of the people are, because like I said, if we do like the changes for for that, you know, what if someone wants to pick like Phantomites, pure Phantomites is like their tier three deck, you know, or uh, what if the, the exchange, what if the people who have like PK Fire, what if they don't want to exchange their deck for Blue Eyes, you know, so we might have to just do a repick of sorts, so I don't know, I don't know, it really depends, it really depends. I'd rather not have to do that because it took fucking forever, you know, and like I said, if too many people leave, then we'd have to reselect teams. I, I, I probably wouldn't reselect teams too much, like, literally, depending on how many people didn't come back for, confirmed for season two, come back, I'd probably say, uh, wow, you can just collect the, you know. He, he, he got hit with a sudden strike, and then he got hit with that Van Nuys. Well, it doesn't put too much back, but probably just the usual uh, Van Nuys emptiness, maybe a couple of uh, some strikes, if that. But, I mean, so, Dark Mission versus Blue Eyes, I mean, I guess. I'm just kind of wondering what the Blue Eyes guy is going to do under... Really? Really? You're going to put him back in the extra deck? Really? I didn't like that play. I didn't like that play. Put him back in the extra deck? Really? <coughs> You probably have another one. Generally, you play two. If anything, I would have put... You're going to give yourself something back on the grave so you can get your plus. Like, that wasn't anything. If you have the vanities, and now you're just getting poked at 16, I know you can't get rid of that special on me. You probably activate something like Melody to get rid of it. So, uh, when it comes to choosing teams, you know, however many people... Let's say, for example, three people don't come back. Those three people will lose their team, and then I'd replace it with three other people. Like I said, probably something along with Melody. And uh, they would get to pick out of those three. You know, I'm not gonna really press the reset button wholly entirely on um, on team picking, but Dex, I mean, that that had to be reselected probably. Uh, depending, it really does depends on how many people leave, how many people come in, and uh, whether those people that come in are willing to take the decks that uh, they're replacing, the people that they're replacing, and it, as I said, it's just a lot of fucking background mess, a lot of it. Alright, so he's just gonna go ahead and play and summon the navigate now before he catches that spirit. But that Chaos Max though, so he definitely, definitely needs his apprentice. Like you need to summon apprentice right now. The problem is is that he could just attack apprentice first, kill her, and then attack everything else. So it'd be nice if you have apprentice in hand. Because the apprentice is a great out for Dark Mission for Chaos Max. Yep, there she is. Wow. Were you summoned her in defense? You're pretty much asking for him to double pierce her ass. Alright. 
Does that Dark Magician Ebon, does he target? I'm not sure if he targets. Might be best to kill this and then like this. I think that would be best. Yeah. No, 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 no. Damn it. You should have attacked the apprentice first because you can contribute herself law and then increase. Yep. Yep. Fuck boy. Fuck boy. Good job. Nah. This, then this. Oh, you have gospel anyway. But still, like. <sighs> no, you should have. Oh my god. Really? Really? You went after him? Should have went after this so he can't do any rank seven plays. All right. All right, the blue eyed guy loses, he deserves to lose. Like, holy shit, that was bad. That was bad. Fuck the rod. Fuck the rod. <laughs> That's what you do. You fuck the rod, right? Like, but no, seriously. Like, this should attack that. That should attack that. Oh, well. Because I'm not sure if Eben Illusion Magician, I'm not sure if he targets with the fact. I think he does. I think he does. I think he says target one card on the field and banish it. <coughs> Excuse me. Still. I wouldn't say I'm sick, but, you know, occasional cough, occasional stuff nose. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just sick in general. Does he target? Yeah, he does. Target one card, your opponent controls and banish it. Yep. So, he really doesn't have an out to that Chaos Max, but you pretty much allowed him to go into Ebon. Like, that was dumb. That was dumb. <laughs> I would have never let his ass go into fucking Evan. Like, even if it does target, it's like, why the fuck would you allow him to go into rank 7? <laughs> like, fuck the rod. The rod was literally doing nothing. It already did its job. <clears throat> so, like I said, if this blue eyes guy loses, then he deserves to lose. And if he doesn't lose, then. Then it just goes to show you how strong blue eyes is, you know? So, I think we might have to actually reselect, because there's a lot of decks that came out as tier... We could change up, put as tier 2 to this tier 3, you know. Yeah, we might have to change things up. Because I can see Dark Magician being like a potential tier 2 deck in the league. I don't know, it depends. Or someone might want to choose it for tier 3 so it doesn't get selected as tier 2, so... We might have to re reorganize some things, which is fine. Okay. Out of all things that you want to negate, that's that's what you want to negate. Navigate, like all right. And then you just summon that dark mission from your hand. You didn't even get to summon it from your deck. So I'm just really kind of wondering how this dark mission guy's gonna get it if he doesn't have apprentice. Oh, he has apprentice. Ah, ah, apprentice is so good. See, that's where you fucked up. You allowed your chaos max. Chaos max should have literally attacked the fucking uh. The set monster, like wow, wow, all right, you lost, you lost, you deserve to lose, actually, Mr. Belize guy, you, you deserve to get fucked, because that was dumb, that was dumb, you allowed him to go into the rank seven, you fucking allowed him to use the princess on your ass twice, like, wow, get fucked, all right, we'll come back for games two and or three, be right back, the blue eyes guy quit, <laughs> I, I, I want to do matches so that I can side and I can, you know, but, like I said, it's just, like, we're doing this on YGO just sucks. It sucks. I miss Dev Pro for the rated system, you know? And Salvation, like, no one plays on Salvation. No no offense to Salvation. No offense. You know, it's a fine perk game. You know, it's like one, it's like the best of both worlds, in, in a sense. But it's just like, wow, no one plays on it. Like, I saw, when I, I re-downloaded Salvation, because I don't remember uninstalling it, but it wasn't on my computer anymore. So I re-downloaded it. There was, like, five duels. Five. <laughs> so, you know... And I'm not even sure if they even have really a raid system on there at all either, you know? So, rip on that. Rip on that. We're just going to stick on here for on YGO for a while. I feel like I got Ancient Gears. Once again, Ancient Gears are just kind of... At Fortress, though. It's good, but if you don't have anything to do with it, then it doesn't do anything. That's my big gripe with it. So... And the effect that it is, though, they can't be... Target or destroyed by card effects during the turn of summon. Now, that other effect that your opponent can activate card effects in response to uh, you think your activation effect is fine for this and for this and for this, you know. So, is it time to fuse it up and go into um, maybe Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem or your uh, Chaos one? No, it looks like Chaos. Yep. Yep, definitely looks like Chaos. Speaking of Ancient Gears, gonna be dead getting that deck profile tomorrow, so <laughs> that deck didn't remain. None of the decks would generally remain on daily duels, but I said daily duels is ending soon anyway. Wow, it's normally, yeah. 
So yeah, I remember if this can attack all monsters and it does pierce damage. I'm surprised they didn't give it like double pierce damage. I'm really surprised they didn't do that. They, they've, been, they've been doing a lot of that double pierce, but just just regular pierce. So damn, he he got destroyed. He took so much damage. So this card is unaffected by spells and traps, but it is affected by monsters. And this guy's playing Wormels. So he can usually like pitch, you know, like a another marksman or something like that. Yeah, another mark to pitch another. I mean, another infantry pop that. So and monsters. Your ancient gear monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card factor in return that they are normal or special summon. Not wow, you're gonna set another monster and get pierced again? Like alright. Like Mr Mr. Water guy, I don't know. I, Atlantean guy. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but facing down that big motherfucker and taking all this damage. It's unaffected by spells and traps. And you and I think you can't activate monster effects. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So you get pierced for phase three, and that doesn't go off because you can activate monster effects during the battle phase. Like, <laughs> like this guy's getting destroyed. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's not a match, but it just feels this 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 is an episode of uh, that pro dual commentary, quote unquote. It seems a lot longer than usual. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's because all the single duels are just so quick. It's just like quit, 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 quit. I mean, this duel is pretty much over too. And fuck it. I'm right now. I'm just doing singles because no one was hosting any matches anymore. Okay, you know that he's unaffected by spells and traps, right? So. This attack game. I mean, maybe you'll have like a best sphere, but anything you summon's gonna get killed, and you're gonna take all that damage anyway. So, rip, rip, GG. Yep, GG. Wow, destroyed. Ah, <sighs> one more duel, one more single. Bear right back. Never mind. They actually, despite doing single, they decided to run it back. They tried to run it back because God, that man got destroyed. That's fine. That's fine. We actually got a match in the single. So I got a match, and then. They don't want to do it, right? Alright, Ancient Gear Workshop's not terrible. Take the Ancient Gear, grab, grab it back, and grab it back to your hand. Yeah. Fuse? What are you previewing them to? Devil. Devil. Alright. Yeah. Devil can summon anything in North Sound. That was good. That was good. Like. I'm not a big fan of playing Polly in the deck anymore. Like, I think that if you're going to play a Polly as card, you might as well go out and play Power Bond, really. But I'm not sure if he's playing in Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, so. He should be. He should be playing regular Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, but, you know, you have your, if you want to run a regular Fuse, you have your uh, Hound for that. Who the fuck plays Mander? Like, okay. Yeah. One for one for your uh, Nuptibus, and here we go, the Nuptibus shenanigans. You already know, Dragoons, send Dragoons, grab a Dragoon, so dumb, but you can do that. Wow, you can just catch this skill drain. Yep. He's sending for cost, but you don't resolve it. You grab that, and your Dragoons will go off. Like, the Dragoons should, like, if they ever hit, decide to hit Atlantean Mermos, which I still think are a great deck, they're probably easily still, they've always been in, like, the top five decks, always, you know, because they've never hit, and they're really great, and they go to K, and they're fairly, fairly consistent, you know? Like, I would never say anything, give them anything, but if they ever decide to, like, hit the fucking deck, let's say Dragoons go back down to one, like, I don't even know what, they, like, all of a sudden raise Dragoons up to two, and it's so stupid that you can go send Dragoons, grab Dragoons, like, and then Dragoons that you send will grab you Megalo, and then you can pitch the Dragoons to switch on the Megalo, and Dragoons is it once per turn, and it's just like, like, really? Like, like, like I said, if anything, it's just Dragoons. Like, people say Neptibus, like, Neptibus gives the deck strength, but the stupid plays, the shenanigans, is coming from, from fucking having two Dragoons. Like, the, the card was hit down to one, respectively, in OCG, both in TCG and OCG. It's like, okay, that's fine. And all of a sudden, he just crept back up to two in both. So it's like, what? Like, okay. <laughs> Like Mermel's, the deck that never dies. <laughs> Are we still dueling here? Like, I'm not even seeing any plays anymore. Like, fucking the problems of uh, Wild Jail, you know? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Are we even dueling anymore? Is, hello? Are you guys still dueling? Hello? Like, <laughs> oh, did the what's going on? Like the 
the tsunami wind guy, the fucking water guy, did he quit? Did he catch that skill drain and just say, oh, fuck it, I can't do anything under skill drain, I quit, you know? Ancient gear guy's just giving me ellipses, like, can you tell me what's going on and see, is it, is he just not doing anything or what? It's like, god damn, fucking Lygio, man. Like, YGL Pro is not a good replacement for Dev Pro for this series. Not at all, but what choice do I have? What choice do I have? Like I said, if this series wasn't ending anytime soon. So, get replaced. Okay, there. Wow, yeah, it took you long enough. Like, fucking flashbacking? Yeah, <laughs> that man's sitting there flashbacking over there. <laughs> mm hmm. Say no one I luck, he probably has the other dragons. No, he doesn't. He has gun. Gun can I guess summon back Mander, but like I said, who the fuck plays Mander? Yeah. It's no effect on that. You really just went neg on that search. No, not fetch two, summon. It's neg one. That summons back. Wildlands. Scrollian is already saying GG. Alright, so you could turn that into acid, but its effects are negated, so. No. Where are we going with this? Now you deplete every single card in your hand. You have nothing stronger than the fucking ancient gear monster that he'll potentially summon, which would be 3,000. Like. I said, did he run out of time? It's so dumb. Like. Huh. <sighs> Channel changes are going to be strong, you know. Card review will still be card review, fake on Friday, still be fake card Friday. The highlights will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays for Vitamin Y, and, uh, well, your fakes are also negated, but you summon a 3,000 monster that he can't get over, uh, you know, Vitamin Y, and probably, like I said, in this series, will probably called Daniel Duels, uh, respectively, uh, yeah, so I'd probably kill that, because, can he? Is this a cost? You could tribute one of our monster. Your face up attack vision. Yeah, he could tribute that for cost. And then this will go off in the graveyard and summon back to the dragon. So, yeah, killing killing that after this might be bad. Also, killing something else might be bad. So, it might be the Megwell, just in case he's able to bust out another 7. But I don't think so. Plus, there's no rank 7 that can handle that 3000 attack. Like, that attack is too strong. Under skill drain, I just don't think there's anything water can do. But drown. <laughs> I think that might be game. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit, never mind. That's like, who the fuck runs Mander? This guy runs Mander, and because of that, he might be able to do some rank 8 plays. Like, rank 8 plays. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what other ring eight he runs. If anything, I probably would win. Cipher blade and slap on full armor. Anyway, you can attack instead of crash. But cool, Mander. I mean, stop shit talking, Mander. Mander literally just saved the duel because if he didn't have Mander in that in the graveyard to do that play, he would have had nothing. Still, not that they, not that you know he's in it. The ancient gear guy, he's not really doing anything either. Ugh, I hate one day. One day is a terrible fucking card. Like, never let your opponent draw. Never let your opponent draw. You even know. You played one, drew one, but your opponent, he only had one card in his hand. He would drew into two. Now he drew into three because you played one day. Like, no. Take that shit out. Take that garbage ass card out. Now you can catch the swiftest twin twister of your fucking life. I'm actually wondering if that set card is actually like something. Oh, Ancient Europe. I don't even play that card. I don't like that card. I mean, at least he doesn't have to be on the field to resolve, so that's nice. So he's not like equipped or anything, so he gets to just summon his ancient gear monster back. Yeah. Because my big grip with this card is like, you can only activate it if you control no monsters, you know? I wish it was kind of like, um. Uh. Fucking. Red Eyes Return, you know, if I have an Ancient Gear, I can summon an Ancient Gear from my graveyard. That would be cool. That would be, that would be great. That, that, I'd definitely play that card. Holy shit. Yeah. 
It's like, man, some of my fucking wyvern that activated, some of back my fucking monsters that I fused with, that attack you and go for game. Like, I'm not even big as a fan of Return either, but at least it's better than fucking Itching Gear Reborn. But, yeah, I can't talk shit about Reborn because Reborn just saved his ass too. I'm really going back and forth. It's the water guy. It's really, really difficult to get back, you know? Really difficult to come back into the duel. He needs like a soul charge or something. And then he's also running out of life points, especially since he can just keep burning you for a thousand and attacking you for twelve. He can switch clean, you know, twenty two each turn. And that's game right there. And just play it, call traps. Maybe chain the abyss fear if you have it. If not, then I don't know, rip. You <laughs> I think you just destroyed this water, man. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, talking about how this is taking long, we're done. We are done here, people. So, I apologize. I said Dead Pro down, and it's just it's just a hassle. Yeah, YGO Pro is not a good replacement for Dead Pro. You know, people just quit whenever they want, and there's no raid system. We don't get to see as much of the meta as I would like to see on here. I mean, it's nice to say creative decks once every once in a while, but still, you know. Wow, he, uh, he, this man literally drops a mic. He's like, attack, game, surrender, because, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. So, he dropped he dropped the mic like a son of a bitch. Didn't even have to vict wait for this victory. He just attack, surrender, because I already know, I already know I won. He fucking turned around, his opponent exploded, and he did not look back like a badass. Anyway, we're done here. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed what you can out of this, uh, quote-unquote, Death Pro Duel commentary. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys next week. Like I said, we're almost done with this series, uh, so I'm going to keep pressing on. Um, hopefully, Death Pro gets back up. If not, then we'll just keep it on here. Hopefully, next week we'll have some extra tag partners who uh, can join me and talk for this. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for the support. See you guys next time.